everybody welcome back to my video my name is Michelle and you're watching real life with Michelle let's talk about kids and respect and let, let's go that route my kids growing up I have adult children now and growing up my kids I wanted to teach them how to be responsible be responsible you have to be responsible in life so every day after school I would have a job list I would sit down even make up jobs do something so each child had one thing to do after school every day so they would come in and look at the job list and go do whatever what they were supposed to do if they didn't do that they weren't allowed to be on the computer watch TV or have friends over until your job is done that comes first, play is next. So we would do things like, um, at the time we had a three story house. So you can imagine the amount of steps that we had. We had tons of steps. Well, oh goodness. So we had two dogs at the time that shed. So twice a week, the steps would get swept. I gave them that job because I didn't want to do it. I wanted the steps swept, but I didn't want to do it. We would do things like empty the garbage can, the bathroom, and just different things. And you, and when you write your job list, and if you want them to do something, you have to specifically write it out. You can't just say clean the bathroom. You know, it said clean, clean the sink, clean the, you know, specific things to do because they're kids. You know, it's like you, when you say pick up your shoes. I always would say get your left shoe and get your right shoe and please go put them go put them in your room you know so kids you every day they that. were responsible for one thing maybe on Saturdays we had two things and I would rotate I would rotate that um, so each kid had a different job you know we would go maybe three months and I would rotate it and and it's something that they learned to do now when you're teaching your kids to be responsible, you have to be responsible too because you have to go check their job. You have to go see what they have done. And like, I would go check the steps and if it was like this crap job, I would make them do it again. And don't feel guilty when you say, hey, come do it again. Because you need to teach them that, well, hi, what do you want? My dog. Do we have to do this right now? Right now? We Don't feel do bad this. telling your child to do it again. Because you're teaching them how to do it the right way. You're teaching them to be responsible. Do it right the first time and you don't have to do it again. Set a job list. That's an important thing that kids should have in their lives. Because it teaches them responsibility. Now, another thing. I had another type of job list. And this was the job list that the kids didn't want to do. You don't want to do this job list. So, I had girls in the house and they were close in age. So, you know, they fight. Girls fight. They fight. Kids fight. Siblings fight. And it was non-stop sibling fighting all the time. It was getting to the point where nothing worked. I could send them to their room. It didn't matter. I could take things away. It didn't matter. I could do whatever. It didn't matter. I came up with a solution to my children fighting. I made the job list that nobody wanted to do. So it would be washing walls, cleaning up after the dog, things that were dirty, things that carried in wood, go get, go get stacks of wood and move them. You know, it was jobs that kids don't want to do. You know, you don't want to have to go clean up the neighbor's dog poop. Well, that was on the list. That was way down on the list, but it was it was on the list. So, Christmas break came along, and now we're all in the house together. That's about that's when I decided to do this. If they would start fighting, I would say, "Go do number 1, both of you." I would get walls washed. Go do number two. They would fight some more. You know, the next day they're fighting. Now they're getting smart to this. They're, they're, they got smart to this. So the fighting stopped. Now, it didn't stop totally, but it wasn't, it wasn't obnoxious fighting. 
because they didn't want to do mom's other list. That was the nasty Another list. thing I did when my kids were growing up, and I started this when they were little. I normally had some type of minivan, you know, nor normally I had a minivan. And they would always fight over who would sit where. And it got to the point where every day we were fighting over who was going to sit in what seat. And one of them wanted to sit in the front. And it, it was crazy. It got crazy. So I made, I set the law, mom's law. This is your seat. This is your seat. This is your seat. This is your seat. And you know what? Nobody is sitting in the front seat. You're not doing it. Nobody, I don't want anybody in the front seat. All right, front seat is for my purse and any other junk that I have. So that worked. Give your kids assigned seats in the car because you'll be a happier person for it. The fighting will be gone. Even if you want to rotate the seats every once in a while, that's great. But give them assigned seats and don't feel bad for doing it. I know parents these days feel like, oh, I don't want my kid to, I don't want them to be mad at me. Well, you know what? You're, you're the parent. You're not their friend. And I've, I've told my kids this before. You know what? I'm not your friend. I'm your parent. You have friends at school. You have friends in the neighborhood. That's great. I am your parent. I'm not supposed to be your friend right now. And they would just huff away and it's like, mm. You know, but set the law down. Don't be afraid to yell at your kids. Just don't be afraid to do well, it. Well, this was just a short little video of things I did with my kids. Now, I'll tell you, I have all adult children now. All of them. They're all adults. Some of them have their own kids, you know. Some of them are getting ready to get married. Some of them live out of state, you know. And I have, I have all of my own kids, and they are all responsible. They're all doing what they love to do. They all treat me res with respect now. And you know what? I'm their friend. Now I'm their friend. It took, took them in their 20s. They realized, you know what? Mom is my friend. Yeah, I'm their best friend. I am my daughter's best friend. And my mother now is my best friend. So hang in there. Do what you got to do when your kids are growing up. Be the parent because when they're adult children, they'll become your best friend. All right, like, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the subscri subscribe button. I can't ever say the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah. And there's a little bell, and if you hit the bell and hit all, you'll get all of the notifications for my videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.